Okay, so our very first day, we were ready to take on the day, but first we had to grab breakfast. I love the fact that they always have you wash your hands before entering, and then you guys, the Disney Cruise buffets are one of a kind. Breakfast buffet was lit. My favorite thing to get every morning was a giant bowl of fruit. 10 out of 10. Okay, you guys, so this was the day that we were able to preview Disney's newest island, Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. So first you get off the boat and you walk down this long pathway. It's gorgeous, you guys, the sand, the water, everything. And then we hopped on the tram and it takes you over to the island. This is such a beautiful celebration of the Bahamas and their culture with a little bit of Disney magic added in. You guys, we were absolutely shook when we got there. So the first place we went upon arriving was the Play Play Pavilion, they threw a Disney Fun in the Sun beach bash because Disney does it best and all of our favorites were there. Chippendale, Goofy, the whole gang and we just partied and had the absolute best time the moment we got off the boat. I mean like they know how to throw a beach bash. So after the beach bash we decided to head to the beach and you guys the kids Oh, they haven't been in the beach in a long time. And so this was the most, one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever been on. The sand actually has a light hint of pink and the water is as clear and blue as you can imagine. Absolutely magical. So Lookout Key has really great food options. We decided to go to True True Barbecue and grab food to eat on the beach. And then we decided to check out Rush Out Gush Out. This part of the island is so cool. Yes, the island literally has water slides, um, 10 out of 10 on this. It was such a good time. And then after checking this area out, Audrey and Kai decided to do some snorkeling. Um, and so that's another thing that's super fun is there is options to do. And then after that, we went to Rush Celebration at Green Bay Cultural Center, um, a cultural celebration with music. And it was just a 10 out of 10 experience. So that was our day. I absolutely loved being able to preview Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. It is a beautiful private island and we enjoyed getting to spend the day there. So once we got back to the boat, we all took a rest and showered and then we got ready for the night. We decided to go to Lumiere's for dinner. That was where we were scheduled to have a delicious dinner and we had the best time. One of my favorite parts of the cruise is the sit down dinners. It's such a great time to reconnect, talk about the day, enjoy great food. Also, I realized me and Audrey are actually twins. So after dinner, we went back to our room and we got ready for one of my favorite parts of the cruise, the Pirates of the Caribbean deck party. You dress up in your pirate attire. The entire cruise is dressed up as pirates and that was a, such a good time. Um, another thing I love about the Disney um, cruise is they have the Disney Navigator app which allows you to see where your favorite characters are going to be and what time so I saw that Mickey was going to be um, out for pictures and his little attire so we went and took pictures with him and then I also scheduled Minnie um, and so we were just killing time in between waiting to see I could not stop twirling my dress you guys the way that I just love twirling so then after that we went to see Minnie um, forget the kids I was sprinting to get pictures <laughs> with all these characters you guys if you're an adult and you don't have kids and you're wondering if a Disney cruise is for you it 10 out of 10 is for everyone I had just as much fun as the kids so then after we um, took pictures Audrey and I decided to get ice cream you can get ice cream 24 7 on the cruise whenever you want I don't know how many ice cream cones I had but I had quite a few <laughs> So then it was time for the party to start on deck and the kids have made so many little friends. They were playing with all of their little friends on deck. It's just such a good time. Um, and then the party started. So they bring out all the characters. They get you in the vibe. Um, Jack Sparrow showed up. I mean, you guys, when I tell you it is lit, it is lit. And then the entire thing ends with fireworks. Ugh. 10 out of 10. How many times am I gonna say that in this vlog? But like 10 out of 10, you guys.
after getting an epic night of sleep, we were finally ready for our final stop. This is one of my favorite spots in the Bahamas, and we plan to spend the entire day here. But the weather had other plans for us. Actually being helpful. They have Starbucks everywhere. All around the world. <laughs> I know, right? We're gonna look for a few souvenirs, and I need to find something for even sleep. Part of a seashell, I love it. some rocks. Oh my god, it's your best life. They will always find kids to play with and they will always make friends. And I love that because now we have island friends. I love it. Holy cow. Now we are at a goodbye celebration. We barely made it. But we're here. Kylan? Uh, I'm in a Isn't that rain wild? Are you still in Canada? You're so cute. <laughs> we literally just left the beach. Minnie and Mickey are in their little tropical outfits. They have so many cute little costumes. It's adorable. They always dressed up in some theme. Yeah, they're always dressed in press. I've never been on a boat obviously during like a thunderstorm and I'm actually really happy we haven't left the port yet because I feel like that would be very scary in the middle of the ocean. Um, yeah, things might get wild you guys. What? But good thing we're on a Disney cruise. Disney has everything taken care of. We did this whole emergency um, procedure right before we took off and the way they do it is so interesting. Like on your Disney app, it'll tell you what station you're at for when there's emergency so it'll ha to have a letter and then you know where to go on the ship so they're like letter f letter e like all the letters of the alphabet basically um you're assigned a section and then you go to that section and yeah they give you all the info it's right by where all the boats are um so yeah hopefully we don't need that though <laughs> okay so the storm has turned from scary to more beautiful now it seems a little calmer I we're like storm scary. we're like storm chasers now. Me and Audrey are like <laughs> so invested in this. The boys are in kids' club by the way. They're not just roaming around by themselves. It's like we've never seen rain. Yeah, I need it. I forgot my book. We reached a different part of the ship and now we're like Audrey's convinced that the ghost of Walt Disney is here. <laughs> I love you. Do you feel his presence? Oh, maybe we're not supposed to be here. Whoops! <laughs> this was open though. It didn't say it wasn't open to the public. It's like completely open. Oh well. We're just exploring. Oh, did she join you? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, Thank you. you. <laughs> Adriana, oh, let me see. Oh, yes. You order a drink that's for yourself, but they think it's for your kid because it's a kid's drink. Do you want it, baby, for real? No, I really Are you don't. Sure? I'm please, please take it. Please. Okay. I will. Oh, I can take it. <laughs> oh, my Wait, God. No, this is so cute. I love it. It's ratatouille. Oh, my God. 
You want to try a taste of it? Okay. Okay. It's not alcohol. You want to try another sip? Oh, that's delicious. Non alcoholic, of course. Virgin. That's you want one more sip? I might have to make these at home because that is mm. very good. You have to make all this Disney stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Pina colada, yes. Except for Virgin, of course. Don't make the pasta. I should have ordered that. I should You make your normal pasta. Make my normal pasta. Yeah, I always make pasta. Thank you yeah, so I much. Uh, sure, I'll take a little parmesan. Thank you. Oh, girl, that looks good. Distracted by dish, fried dessert. Ooh, you gonna try that? We got this Sunday and, and Kylan's helping me eat it and it was it oh. cookie dough? Oh you, should I try this? Yeah you should try the chocolate. Okay. Ooh, that's delicious. The finishing touches. Oh my goodness, they left us these amazing little cookies for the road. Um, so, all the kids are gone. <laughs> and it's crazy because the last time I was on the cruise with them, they were so little, they were not independent enough to go anywhere. But the boys are at the Oceaneer Club having a good time, and Audrey went to her little club for not club, but like her little hangout area for her age group, which is called The Edge. It's for ages like 11 to I want to say 15 I think and then there's the vibe which is a little club area hangout for like 15 and up I think or 16 and up don't quote me on that but I love that Disney cruises always have options and the kids want to go like I wasn't like oh you guys need to go to these things like after dinner I was like oh what do you want to do do you want to go like to the show do you want to do this and they were all like uh we kind of just want to go to our places <laughs> was so cute so I'm just like in a bit of a moment here to myself and um, I've been packing up for tomorrow since we are heading out it has been such a beautiful magnificent time here and it's just been so nostalgic because like I said we I don't know if I mentioned to you guys but we came on this cruise those of you who've been here a while um, we came on a Disney cruise, I want to say like seven years ago, when the kids were like five and four, and Maddox was so little he didn't even go, um, like I said before, but yeah, it's just really cool to travel with them at this age and to experience everything through their eyes at this age. Um, I know that sometimes it can feel difficult to travel with kids and like, well, it's just easier to just leave them at home, but like the value of experiencing different places with your kids is just epic and I just want so much more of this like it's just I feel like such a valuable experience for your kids if you can do it so I'm just feeling so grateful I started crying at dinner I'm so embarrassed I mean I'm a crier but I started crying happy tears and the kids were like are you good I was like yeah because <laughs> I was just so happy and like overwhelmed with joy and gratitude so much gratitude and I'm gonna start crying right now you guys like life has been you guys know life has been hard life has been for everybody not just me but like I'm just sitting here thinking back to seven years ago and just some really hard times in my life and some really difficult times not even seven years ago but like recently and just having so much I know I just said gratitude like five million times, but that's the only word that I can think of right now. Gratitude for opportunities and travel experiences and all the things. So anyway, I'm just rambling right now. Also, the lighting is not the best, but I just can't handle any overstimulation right now. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Um, Disney cruises are so fun. They're one of a kind. Uh, I know I've gotten some DMs and comments from people that were like, oh, I've heard so many horror stories about cruises. I never want to take a cruise because I've heard so many crazy, terrible stories. But you guys, Disney cruises are in a league of their own. <laughs> They're in a league of their own. So all the horror stories you've heard have not been about Disney cruises. <laughs> they are magical. And I am so grateful for this experience and I can't wait to come back. <laughs> Just like that, it's over.